Uh, let's start combining what we're learning about now, entropy and enthalpy, which we know is going to have a big play in determining whether or not something is spontaneous. All right. So the question here would be, why is water freezing below zero degrees Celsius spontaneous, even though entropy is decreasing? All right. So let's unpack this question. Water freezing, what's that mean? Chemically, what's going on with the change, the physical change? Solid, liquid to solid, right? That's what's going on. So water is going from liquid to solid. All right, and so the spontaneous uh, or the entropy is decreasing. It's going from liquid to solid, right? Solid to liquid was increasing, so liquid to solid is decreasing. So our delta S would be what? Positive or negative? Negative. It is negative. But that happens, right? At zero degrees Celsius below, you put, you put liquid water in a freezer, you come back at some point in time, it will be frozen. It will be solid. Okay? Unless you're like 10 years old and you're trying to make popsicles out of like Kool-Aid, it never freezes. It takes forever to freeze. You keep on looking, it's still liquid. Chemistry breaks down sometimes, okay? But no, so it's definitely going to freeze below zero degrees Celsius. Um, but, and, and, how about, and, the entropy is decreasing. But last time we met, how about that? Last time we met, last time we met, we said that the sec there's a second law of thermodynamics which says, states that the entropy of the universe has to increase. But now our entropy is decreasing. Well, the good thing, well, the reason why is that this system, water, liquid, is not the universe. That's just a physical process. So if we're really going to talk about it, we have to put things into perspective on where they're at. So the delta S for the universe including Pluto. Pluto's still in the universe. All right, so the delta S of the universe, obviously the universe is big, all right? Um, so we usually have to break things up and think about this a little bit more strategically. So we could say the universe is our delta S of our system. So this water freezing is our system. And then plus, Everything else. What do we usually call everything else? Reaction. The surroundings. Surround. Yep. So the, the reaction will be our system. And so the change in entropy for the universe just consists pretty much just of the system and the surroundings. We know that the system is negative, delta S for the system. But for this to be spontaneous, and it is, the delta S, well, let me put this up here. Delta S of the universe has to be positive. We have to follow the law. Okay. So, so far, we've got a negative number. This is a negative. I don't know what it is. We can calculate it later. But right now, we just know it's negative. So, turns out the entropy of the surroundings has to be positive. The entropy of the surroundings has to be positive for this to be Spontaneous. Okay, so how's that going to work? Well, it turns out that's when we start to incorporate the other factor, our enthalpy change. And it turns out the enthalpy change for the system is also negative. All right. Okay, so the uh, delta H, the enthalpy change is negative. Yeah, I just steal that, put it in the wall. Nobody knows. <laughs> no. it's probably your um, so what's that mean if enthalpy is negative? Positive. Well, well, just what's that mean about the enthalpy change? Uh, what would we call a reaction with uh, enthalpy change of negative? Oh, exothermic. Exothermic. So what's that mean? Yeah, it's losing heat or transferring heat to the surroundings. So the entropy is going down for this reaction, but it's also transferring heat to the surroundings. So let's draw that. So here we have our reaction, our system. 
it's transferring heat to the surroundings. What is that going to do to the surroundings? Increase the enthalpy. Increase the enthalpy for the surroundings. So we're transferring heat. What happens when you give something heat? It increases the temperature. The surroundings temperature is going to increase, right? We're transferring heat to it. Temperature is going to increase. So the temperature is going to go up. Of the surroundings. Delta T would be positive, yes. What's going to happen to the entropy of the surroundings if our temperature of the surroundings is increasing? increasing. It's going to increase, yep. Remember that? We saw that on this plot. As we increase the temperature, entropy goes up. So the Entropy of the surroundings is going up, so what's my sign for change in entropy of the surroundings? Positive. So that's where the positive sign comes in for our equation here. And obviously, since this is spontaneous, that means this positive is going to be bigger than this negative. So we're going to get a positive answer for delta S of the universe. So that's how our enthalpy impacts entropy. If the reaction is exothermic, it's going to cause the temperature of the surroundings to go up, increasing the entropy of the surroundings. What were to happen if the uh, reaction is endothermic? It's going to absorb heat from the surroundings. The surroundings is going to transfer heat to the system, to the reaction. reaction. What's going to happen to the temperature, temperature of the surroundings? It's going to go down, so the entropy of the surroundings is going to go down. So that's how enthalpy is going to impact the entropy. It's going to impact the entropy of the surroundings, increasing it if it's exothermic, decreasing it if it's endothermic.